sound is everywhere. Everyone uses or enjoys a sound every day. But if you are asked to make or reduce a sound, then it is not easy to answer. Okay, let's take a very typical example, guitar. When I stroke it, you can hear sound. That means I make a sound, in other words, a generation of a sound will be transmitted through this medium and somebody can hear. Uh, depending on the, the way of making sound, for example, this or this, what you hear is different. Also, depending on the propagation path. For example, suppose we have some big obstacle over here, then the transmitted sound from here to the listener's point would be different. So therefore, we have to understand the radiation characteristics or radiation physics of sound, as well as the propagation physics of sound, and, and also the, the way of hearing by human being has to be understood to completely understand the sound propagation or sound physics related with the sound. Therefore, this lecture aims to make you understand the physics related with the, the way of generating sound and the physics related with the propagation uh, of sound and also the measure that is related with hearing or listening of sound. So I would like to invite people who wants to understand the basic physics of sound to this lecture.